All right, Shalom. Call all Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Salute to the hopefully left. Now, um, this video is going to be about the Passover. The Passover is coming up. Um, the um, elder. Elder Apostle Tahar um, named this year the year to turn up, you know, and um, we're about to uh, come up upon another pass Passover and this place Babylon the Great, the year um, two thousand and twenty-two, according to Esau's calendar. See. See, we don't go by Esau's um, calendar. We we go, uh, you know, to the best of our abilities. We follow the moon. You know, that's the ancient way that um, we did things, you know. And a lot of these other camps, you know, that's why a guy came up um, and um, he didn't understand that it's a controversy amongst within the truth. You know, you got these guys, they think that every cat supposed to come together and it's all supposed to be love. And that's that love doctrine. You know, it's, it's not going to be about that. Even back then, uh, when Jake knew that they were Israelites, you still had wicked Israelites. And Yahweh Shai had enemies within Israel. You know, the elect is all about the elect. You know, and all these other camps are going off and they proud about it, too. You know, for the most part, uh, Great Millstone is the only and we say that humbly, humbly speaking to the best of our abilities. We try our best to be humble and meek in this truth, starting with the elders and apostles by setting the example, you know, and they setting a, a, a mighty, a mighty good example, you know, on how to be. And it's true. But these other other camps, they going off big time, you know. And this guy, he came up and he, he you know, at camp, I'm talking about at camp this past uh, Saturday. And he really couldn't grasp it until the end. And that's when he kind of like, you know, um, he was kind of catching on. Then the spirit led it to where as though he finally... You know, uh, I guess he was, it's, it's up to the Lord whether he get it or not, but he humbled down somewhat. But that's what you get when you got these, when, when you first come in, you're going to be watching different cats because I, myself, I, uh, I was watching, you know, different camps and so on and so on. And the, the heavenly father, uh, through his son led me through the spirit, led me, uh, to Great Millstone, you know? And the water, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah for giving me this knowledge and this truth, you know? This is a blessing, a blessing, the top, the best blessing you can get, you know? And um, by this being a Passover, any other way, by this being a Passover, yeah, but you, there's only one, there's only one truth, right? Because there's going to be a lot of doctrines and, it, and it's true. But it's only the scriptures say the straight gate is 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 narrow, you know. You want to be on a straight gate, you know. So um by this being a Passover, you know, I'm up I'm up kinda late, but I just wanted to do this um the spirit came on me to do this video. Um so I'ma um go into I'ma read um Exodus. I'm going to read Exodus, a little bit of Exodus about the Passover, and I'll go into that. All right. This is Exodus chapter 12, and I'm going to start at 1. And it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month, and month means moon. That's why we, you know, follow the, uh, the moon. 
the moon Sabbath and, and the way the moon moves, you know. But these other camps, they going by with Esau uh, pit out there. So it says this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. So really. Around the Passover time, around like March, April, that's the beginning of the year. Not no December. Everything's dying in December, you know? So we got, you know, coming out of this world, it's, everything is backwards when you, when you realize every, Esau didn't change every damn thing around. So verse 3, it says, uh, um, speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next un unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your, your count for the lamb. It says, your lamb shall be without blemish. A male of the first year, ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And this proves that we can't, in this captivity in America, the great Babylon, the great, we can't really keep the uh, laws um, perfectly because uh, where are we going to get this uh, a land without blemish in, in this day and time, you know? So that's that's the Lord having mercy on us because we do get the land. We get, you, you know, we try to, we we really, we uh, practice. We rehearse, rehearsing the righteous acts, you know? So that's, A, that's another doctrine that the camp's going off. They think you can keep the law 100%. And, and 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 a lot of them, I guarantee you, um, some of the I I S B K when that Passover happens, I guarantee you some of those lambs ain't without blemish that they're eating. So hey, that's 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 uh, another um wake up call right there to let you know that we can't keep the uh, laws a hundred percent. It's not about the laws. It is about the laws, but it's not about. Keeping the laws 100% because the Lord know you can't keep the laws 100% while you're in captivity. You know, some of us don't even have any money to uh, do certain things, you know. So it says, it says your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, it says, and you shall keep it up. Until the 14th day of the same month and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And is, are you guys uh, killing, killing a lamb in the evening? Are you following this? It says, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the of the houses. Wherein they shall eat it, it says, and they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the per pertinence thereof. It says, and ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that which remained of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. Are y'all all are y'all doing that? Are all the y'all uh getting rid of all those leftovers or burning it with fire? I guarantee you a lot of them um at those Passovers they they they're taking plates home and things like that. I mean I'm not I'm not saying they are, but I'm saying it's it's a possibility that they are doing that. But you know that's. That's up in the air. But I'm asking a question. Are y'all doing that? It says, and thus, thus shall ye eat it with your loin girded, your shoes on, on your feet and your staff in your hand. And you shall eat it with haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So you really got to eat it fat, like fast, like haste. 
let's look up the word uh, haste. Because you got, when I be seeing the videos, you guys are just sitting there, like enjoying, always talking about, oh, this, this lamb is good, you know? So y'all enjoying it. Y'all not eating it fast. Let's get the word haste. Um, this is the blue letter. So haste. Here it is. Yeah, it says uh, the uh, outline of the biblical usage hurriedly, hurriedly and haste, uh, tre trepidation, hurried, flight. So, yeah, fast. You got to eat that, that fast. It says it is the Lord's Passover. Verse 12, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborns in the land of Egypt, both man and beast and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. It says, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land, um, smite the land of Egypt. And uh, us back then, us, we Israelites, we had to put the blood upon the post of our house so that the death angel, Yahweh Shai, or his uh, his angels wouldn't come through and, and destroy us. So that was a ser this hey this is serious, you know. This is this is a serious thing, right? You know, it's, it's serious. It's not it's not, you know, like Apostle Tahar says. It's it's a solemn as assembly. You know, it's not a party. It says, And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it and feast by an ordinance forever. And an ordinance means an order or a circle. So, um, I'm going to leave it there right now, um, at verse 14 and, um, Lord willing, this is edifying to the bodyhood till again, Shalom.